Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly Stevens. I'm the author of the Tenuant Academy series, and this is English Nerd. So this video was kind of inspired by Bethany Adizeda. I think I'm saying that correctly. She recently made a video about her author bucket list. So I thought that was a great idea and that I would give you some of the things that are my dreams for the future as well. Some of these are kind of farther out dreams and uh, others are, are more attainable. I'm like right there. So I wanted to start out this video by looking back at some of the things that were on my bucket list but that I actually have managed to do because I think that we we don't do that often enough instead we're looking forward 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 um, in this in this writerly lifestyle and, and instead we don't always look back and, and see what we've actually accomplished so on my bucket list since I was like in high school was to publish a book and do a book signing um, and I've done I've done both of those I've published multiple books um, <clears throat> To have a have a professionally done world map and I actually have a professionally done world map and city map you can see the city map back there uh, that was that was super super fun to get done I wanted strangers that were fans and I have it's not a ton but I have a small group of people that I have never met in person who are huge fans of the Tanyuan Academy series which is incredible um, unsolicited fan art. I've had that happen a few times now and it's like the best thing in the world. It's my very, very favorite. And finished drafting a series. So I've done all of those things. Those things have all um, happened to me. And so it makes me more hopeful that some of these other items on my bucket list will actually come true. So even if it does take 10 years, like it took to uh, publish my first book, then so be it, you know, 10 years down the road, I will see this and I'll be super, super excited. So here are some of the things in no particular order on my author bucket list. Um, first one is audiobooks. Definitely. I want a really good professional audiobook for everything I come out with. <laughs> and it might, it might take a while there. The, for my first audiobook might be the book that comes out after the Tenuant Academy series, just because it's, um, only one and so if it's more expensive then that's that's gonna be more okay than if I have three big books but in any case I want professional audiobooks done I want there to eventually be like a fandom around the world of the Tanyuan Academy because uh, not only am I putting out this this trilogy but uh, pretty much all of my other books will be set in that world as well and I want I want there to be the same kind of reaction maybe not to the same degree obviously um, I, although that would be cool, as Lee Bardugo's Grishaverse or Marissa Meyer's Lunar Chronicles or just having this whole fan kind of community around around the world I think would be would be incredible, you know, cosplay and, and all that stuff. I would just, oh my gosh, talk about a dream come true. Uh, my, next, my next thing that I put on my list here is to get 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. So I recently just passed the 1,000 mark, finally. Thanks, guys. And I would love to have 10,000 subscribers. Now, I know that my YouTube channel caters not only to writers, but also um, perhaps especially to English students and, and teachers. But regardless, I think that would be an incredible milestone to hit. And the reason I created this YouTube channel in the first place was well, there were a couple a couple of reasons. One, I had a lot of knowledge that I thought could benefit people, <clears throat> especially you know just with my English background. And um, I, I, but I wouldn't have made it if I hadn't been putting out a book and wanted to kind of get my name out there. So I would love those ten thousand subscribers, and and I think it's possible. I think it's possible. It might take a little while, but but I'll get there. Um, next is another number oriented one. I would love to have 50 Amazon reviews. Um, I've, I love Goodreads reviews. I love any reviews that I can get. Um, but it would be, it would be awesome to get 50 reviews on just one book, maybe Fury and Rising. Right now they're about, um, oh gosh, 15 only about 15. So not bad. I mean, I have some reviews, but then not, not very many. Um, so 50 would be great. Next would be to complete 
a series, to publish a series. Now I've drafted a whole series. I have book three drafted, um, but obviously I haven't, haven't published that yet. And so seeing a complete series on my shelf that I finished would be, it will be really, really rewarding for me because it was, it was a gamble to put out book one of, uh, book one Fury and Rising and have that little one on the spine and say the rest are coming and, and really commit to that. And so fulfilling that promise finally will, will be awesome. Um, right now, my current this is more of a goal than, than a bucket list. Bucket list would be a higher figure, <laughs> but uh, more of an attainable step on the way to that would be um, making $15 a day in book sales. So I don't make that much money on, in book sales. I'm still figuring out this advertising thing, but I think my books are definitely good enough to get a following and to have a lot of young adult readers enjoy them. So. Um, I want to sell more books and start making fifteen dollars plus per day on book sales. I think that would be that would be a nice shot in the arm, and then can go up from there. <laughs> uh, as far as my author bucket list goes, I have uh, one more kind of sales figure that I have uh, as my next my next bucket list goal, and that would be to sell five thousand copies of my books. So I I was actually doing the math this morning. Haven't had my morning coffee, so if I look a little tired, that's that's the reason, by the way. Um, but I was I was putting together, you know, actually crunching the numbers, and I, I don't do that often enough. I'm very bad, and I discovered that I have I have sold, and this includes promo copies for myself. Um, so full disclosure, uh, about 500 copies of all of my books, which is really which is really amazing on the one hand, but it's not where I want to ultimately be on the other. I want to get to the point where I'm selling thousands of copies instead of hundreds of copies, but I know that that uh, sometimes it takes a while to, to get there, and then there's, there's a tipping point at some point, there's a book that really resonates with people, and then all of a sudden you have uh, a backlist waiting for them. So I would love to do that. Um, next, I really still want to write my Hamlet retelling. I have not forgotten. It is still on my bucket list. I want to write Hamlet from Laertes point of view and it's probably gonna be a couple years down the road because I already have about a year and a half planned out um, of my publishing, not schedule exactly because the schedule has fallen a bit by the wayside, but um, the books that I do want to put out within about a year and a half and Laertes did not quite make it, but I have not forgotten about that dream. That would be a huge um, bucket list accomplishment for me, even though it's not in the genre that I'm planning to write in primarily. And then finally, I want to find my book in a bookstore that I wasn't expecting to see. So not not connected to any book signings or or anything like that. Instead, I just want to stumble upon my book in a Barnes and Noble or an independent bookstore or something. That would, you know, I, I think I'd get a little choked up if that happened. And so even when I go to my local Barnes & Noble, I'll still check the, the S, S's in, uh, in the young adult section just to see if any of my copies are on the shelf. And so far, so far there have not been any since the uh, copies that they got for the book signing sold. But one day, one day, I will see my book in a store and that will be a really big accomplishment for me. So that is it. That's my author bucket list. What are some of the items that are on your bucket list? I know I could definitely have added some some bigger dreams here, but I feel like these things are big enough to keep me quite busy for the next year or so. Put your author bucket list items down below. Make sure to like this video if you like it. Um, follow me on Instagram as well. If you don't know, I have an Instagram and it's a great place to keep updated on some of these things, uh, these bucket list items in progress. So that is it for today. I'll see you next Monday. Bye.